there are three blessings in scripture that follows an intercessor number one intercession is a seed please understand this according to the law of seed time and harvest every time you engage in the ministry of intercession is a seed you are sowing and based on the integrity of that law there is a harvest that is coming for you one of the you ask any serious intercessor he will tell you most of the things you pray for others about you will not need to pray for yourself about it job 42 and verse 10 please give it to us job 42 and verse 10 help those under the anointing please read with me one two read and the lord turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends also the lord gave job how many listen you read the beginning of job's prayer he was praying for himself wondering what was going wrong but job came to a point where he almost accepted his fate and he said do you know what i'm already a dead man let me focus on praying for my friends at least let them have hope if i am hopeless and he engaged in mystery please keep that scripture there that god turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends god can turn your captivity as you pray for other sinners as you pray for your family members mentioning them by name every true believer should have a prayer altar write the names of people would you be that one person that when things are not going wrong when things are not going right and they need someone to stand you are the one they call they say listen i don't know what is happening to my marriage but can i trust you to pray for me rather than gossiping around with people's issues pray rather than making a lot of noise over what is the meaning of this why is this church going down pray rather than praying and saying this man is like his business is going down shame on him pray job james 5 13 is anyone afflicted let him pray i believe in the ministry of intercession sincerely let me tell you you go and ask god i stand before the god of heaven and i tell you this more than 80 to 85 percent i hope i'm not lying of my prayer is not for myself and it's not because it's not because i am a man of god and i have a spiritual responsibility i like to know what is wrong especially for a family that may not have the spiritual intelligence to handle it my real anointing works when there is trouble yes sir oh apostle it looks like the devil is just pre that's all right just give me the prayer request doesn't mean you go and sleep too let me give you a caution because some of sometimes if you don't balance these teachings pray for me pray for me has also produced a lazy pe people in the body of christ they just give you a prayer request and add a small seed and go and sleep don't practice that kind of attitude it's very bad There, there are certain victories that is you and God that will flog it out alone. Are we together? If you are playing football, we can't play the football for you. We can only cheer you. But you are the one who kicks that ball to the goalpost. The blessing of an intercessor. Number one, that intercession is a seed. And every time you intercede, do not allow the devil cheat you and make you believe that you are... Do you know sometimes you'll be mandated to pray for people who will never even appreciate you, even when they know you are interceding? Now, from a human standpoint, it is painful. Because if you tell them, I'm praying for you, you are just seeing doors open. They'll say, you are praying for me. Carry your prayer and pray for yourself. And yet God says, continue. That's why I told you the foundation of the intercessory ministry is love number two very quickly what is the second blessing of an intercessor 
access to the secrets of God over territories and over people the blessing of an intercessor is that by reason of your your opening your heart to intercede God can trust you with the secrets of territories and the secrets of destinies God can open your eyes and tell you something about a man of God about a church about a people that no other person not even the person he's talking about may know you have earned his trust by reason of being an intercessor he can trust you with the pain of people because he knows that you will pray for them Genesis 18 17 and 18 let's hurry up Genesis 18 17 and 18 and the Lord said shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and a mighty nation and that all the nations of the earth will be blessed through him are you seeing the key now I know that whatever I do for him is for the sake of others so I can trust him there are many people today who pray for the spirit of revelation Lord grant me access to illumination Lord open me up to the prophetic and you know many times when people come and tell me apostle what is the secret to the prophetic I tell them is love not power can God open you up to the details of a family especially when it is negative can God trust you with the secrets of men and you pray for them this is our generation that our mouth does not close can God show you the weaknesses and the limitations of people and trust you to pray for them can God show you the limitations of a nation of a politician of governments of families if God opens your eyes and you see the spirits that sits upon the destinies of a particular family can you pray for them as instructed and yet be quiet There are some of you God trusted you with the secrets of men. He opened up to you in dreams and showed you things to pray for about men, about ministries, about politicians and you ran your mouth up and down and God said no more. Let's withdraw that grace for the safety of that person. You are a Christian but you have not earned the right to be trusted. Can God trust you? It's a message I preached years ago. Please go and look for it. It's an audio message. Some of these audio messages will do the video versions of them. Powerful message. Can God trust you? God loves everybody, but he does not trust everybody. He gave unto one five talent and two and one as a measure of his trust for them. Can a ministry come to you and say we are struggling financially man of god we are struggling forget that the smiling is just by faith but as it is now our rent is expired shame is imminent and you can say my brother know that there is a shoulder that is praying with you can i tell you this there are many people wounded in the body of christ today the reason why many people do not open up over their pain is because there are no true intercessors prayer partners have stabbed one another in the back they share prayer requests it's like my grandmother is a witch and i'm hearing and they are writing and the next time they are seeing it on the internet they are seeing it everywhere pastors are preaching the pain of people and all of these things and they, and they do it in a way that the people know this is them and god says no without that grace for the safety of the person can I give you a secret? You must pray that God will make you a trustworthy person. That's why those who have the mysteries of the kingdom are called custodians. A custodian is a caretaker. It is not yours, but you have earned the trust of God. Stewards of the mysteries, he says. There are things God has shown me about people, ministries, politicians, several people, every time god reveals to me the secrets of the destinies of men or territories it is a trust and i take it with every sense of responsibility can i tell you i have counseled so many people who have been betrayed and backstabbed by people that they trusted oh three of our children one is a smoker the other one is not doing well can we agree 
and the next thing that becomes a subject of pain that's why many people box their problems now and cry alone to God the secrets of the Lord is with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants when I started with God there were times aside from my encounter with Jesus this is a true story I don't talk too much about my experiences because I want people to build their faith on the integrity of scripture because sometimes younger ministers just imitate and copy everything without knowing which one is a doctrine and which one is a personalized dealing but I remember when I would have encounters like the Shekinah glory of God literally like a mist will come you know how a fog is that is how it will fill my room and I would lie down and my Bible God is my witness will physically open to pages that I did not open with my own hands till today that experience still happens to me I can close my Bible and sleep there is no fan anywhere and yet I wake up in the middle of the night I know that the Holy Spirit wants me to study there this is how some of these messages come but can God trust you the sheer level of pride that has wrapped up men of God can he trust you with these experiences access to the secrets of God over territories and over people number three and that does it for tonight what is the blessing of an intercessor authority and power over the assigned territory let me tell you this one of the blessings you receive as an intercessor is aside the authority you have as a believer God is able to trust you with authority and power over the territory that the burden of intercession came to you over I can tell you this there is a mystery called the decree of the watchers not just the decree of men it is a decree of the watchers Daniel chapter 4 from verse 16 and 17 there is the decree of the believer but there is the decree of the watcher there is a throne in heaven that backs you authority you speak over that assigned territory and every force and everything will come into alignment let his heart be changed from a man's remember the judgment of Nebuchadnezzar let a beast's heart be given to him unless seven times over him 17 this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones and they made that decree it was not just God that judged Nebuchadnezzar there were watchmen there were men and women who had authority over that region and they said your evil is enough and they cursed him and heaven backed it to this intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth over the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and set it up over it the basest of men you know a true intercessor by the territorial power and authority they command there were many many other people in the days of Elijah but watch Elijah the intercessor there shall be no rain for a period of three and a half years if it was in our arrogant generation a group of people will come and say don't mind Elijah is he the only one let's pray you think someone did not pray and say Lord let rain come it was as if he was the only man after three and a half years let me tell you how rain came rain did not just come by him saying rain come he did exactly what closed the heavens the Bible says he bent over and prayed and lifted his head did it again and he said I see the sign like the fist of a man's hand he saddle your ass and run I hear in my spirit the sound of the abundance of rain intercessors are men of power in the spirit 
don't mind their weakness physically intercessors are powerful they can literally shift the spiritual climate of their assigned territories one intercessor who steps into a territory with understanding when I went to preach for Archbishop Duncan Williams I had an opportunity to go to their prayer mountain where they are building as a platform to intercede for the nations and when I got there I had the opportunity to teach and pray with his major personal intercessors my goodness you think you can pray you meet those guys believe me when I tell you ah no 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 when when those guys you will know that those guys were that's their life oh intercessors they are just giving the burden over nations God can say now Congo all they need to do is to drop the prayer request in the middle of them and they will pieces it like you are slicing fish you will just hear that someone is dying someone else is rising there is a control room in the spirit can I tell you this ladies and gentlemen Nigeria is not as bad as it is it's a reflection of the absence of strategic intercessors You want to command salvation over territories let's start with abuja start with your region raise men and women by the spirit who understand prayer not blind prayer of dissipating energy that does not produce results that's not intercession strategic prayer with understanding bring forth your strong reason say the lord over this territory you write the names of your family members one by one and you wake up every night you are praying lord salvation lord healing lord restoration lord deliverance he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint can i tell you this there are certain levels of power and grace i have seen in my life it did not come by asking directly it came as a product of standing in the place of prayer for people there are covenants that i have with god today that came at the instance of certain levels of intercession there are things god will never tell you in the open you will have to become an intercessor pastors pray for your members don't just speak over them can I tell you, Koinonia, hear me. You are spiritual people. Go and ask God the decree to which I pray for you. Don't think my preaching here is the end of the ministry. What you see me do on the pulpit is only 30% of my ministry to you. My real assignment to you and my, my real ministry to you, aside from teaching you the word of God, is to pray. While you are sleeping, know that there is somebody awake for your sake. Praying and crying unto God don't think i'm a politician doing some manifesto here lord touch my people lord change their lives sometimes you send me text messages and i don't reply you don't be angry just because i did not reply you it does not mean i did not pray about it there are times i just drop the phone there because i can't reply everything and i lie down before my maker and i say lord you sent me let these people not have shame and reproach when i sit down here and hear certain testimonies praise the lord this one just happened i just sit quietly as if i don't know anything about it but make no mistakes ladies and gentlemen this man you see by the privilege of god's grace and i do not say it to boast if you have never believed that anybody prays for you believe it today believe it today believe it today believe it today that is why you see as a man of God when you have time for everything it's a sign that something is wrong with your ministry are we together yes every
everything you have time to go for every occasion you are at wedding in the morning birthday in the afternoon some thanksgiving in the where what prayer is not something that you do in a rush there are times that it takes two hours to just say thank you thank you two hours thank you jesus and you are there lying down and an atmosphere of worship like this your eyes sleepy but you remember that you love the people you are sent to can i tell you this a good shepherd lays down his life god will not trust you with members just because you want it he must show in your heart i speak respectfully to servants of god listening forget about all this wanting people to just give you seed you announce your birthday one year in 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 in, in um, what do they call it now one year in advance settle down and do what god called you to do the members are not stupid when god blesses them through you they know what to do to you can i tell you this demanding money from members is wrong like to say come and give me money that's not your assignment they didn't call you you bless them and pray for them and let god direct them and they will surprise you members are not greedy just do your work Go and ask him i don't just love koinonia i love you you are koinonia <laughs> only god will tell you the amount of prayer sacrifice and preparation i just returned from lagos you know some of us at one o'clock i was standing on a pulpit and preaching you see that these are the sacrifices of an intercessor i leave this place probably 1 a.m or 2 a.m by tomorrow morning because after service that's only part one of all of this listen when you see what god is doing with people don't just claim anointings do you have the compassion to go that far this is what the younger generation needs to learn just claim anointings up and down no commanding salvation over territories for as long as we're in this city god has sent us in partnership with other vessels across this city to lift our hands and say satan is no longer business as usual we have come with open hearts oh let the ancient words 